Garage Band is yet another underrated gem of the Cartoon Network lineup, one that also defies the law of terrible Canadian animation. The show stars four kids looking to get their indie band to rise in stardom, but since the lead singer Corey has bad writer's block, they use his sister's diary to come up with the lyrics, leading to all sorts of wacky situations. With such an interesting premise, it's hard to forget a show like this. However, Cartoon Network made it a much easier task. The show was shadow dropped during the summer of 2014, and after the summer ended, the show would only get some reruns on Boomerang before being taken down for good. So it's no surprise that many people may not remember this show, or even know that it exists. Funny enough, I made a review of this show back in 2016. It was one of the very first reviews I made, though you'll never find it as it was taken down within the hour it was uploaded. The media company behind the show wasn't very fond of my review, but thanks to my years of experience with video editing, I believe I can avoid getting copyright blocked this time. You might be wondering why I would want to try again after all of these years. Well, I'll let the episode we'll be reviewing today speak for itself. The very same episode I reviewed all those years ago, this is Garage Band, all you need is cake. The episode begins with the band moping around, that is until they hear about a wedding being held with the world's tallest cake. They jump into action and offer to play at the wedding. However, the organizer calls into question their devotion to love. If they don't understand the meaning of love, then their songs will be hollow and meaningless. In order to prove themselves as being worthy, the tomboyish girl of the group, Lainey, comes up with the plan to have Corey pretend he's in love with her. Though she has always had a crush on Corey, so she decides to use this opportunity to its fullest. They spend the day together to give Corey an idea of what people in love do together, and from the get-go we see where their ideas of love divulge. Corey wants to eat at a buffet, but Lainey wants to have a picnic. Corey wanted to drink a banana shake, but Lainey thinks chocolate's cuter. Lainey loves the idea of a slow ride through the tunnel of love but Corey finds it tedious and boring. The episode tackles love in an interesting way, portraying the one-sided relationship Lainey is forcing on Corey. She gets to live out her fantasies at the expense of Corey, whom doesn't enjoy any of this stuff. Despite this, Corey goes along with it making compromises so that all of them can eat that cake, which compromising is an essential part of relationships, an aspect Lainey is neglecting. During all of this, the other band members continuously interrupt their dates to have some fun. However, Lainey continuously pushes them out of the picture, so much so that now they would be doing a duet at the wedding. What happened to you guys? This gig used to be about the music. It was always about cake. This causes the other band members to quit, breaking Corey's heart. Lainey decides that she should confess her feelings to Corey now, but decides against it in favor of bringing the band back together, which they will do by using Corey's sister's diary. As the main plot of this episode progressed, we got a B-plot with the sister's heart being broken about a sweater she threw away for being out of season. How the episodes usually play out is Corey and the band would trick her emotions to fit the theme of whatever song they needed to play. This ranges from joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and love, which she would then write in her diary giving the band the lyrics they needed. With that in mind, you would assume that their solution would be to fix her relationship with her sweater to get lyrics for their love song. However, that is not the case. Instead, they decide to break her heart even more, making her suffer in her regret of ever throwing away the sweater. And you can guess where this is going. At the wedding, the two of them sing a song to win back the other two members, and they all get to finally eat that world record breaking cake. And that was Garage Band. This episode tackled the subject of love excellently, covering themes of friendship, one-sided relationships, attachment to material possessions, and fantasy versus reality. Though the concept was great, the episode did a fantastic job executing it. Some of the show's writing can be a bit hit or miss, there are moments in the dialogue that just feels very strange and off-putting, but it hits far more than it misses, and when it hits it's a home run. The comedy is essentially the same, some of it is very strange, while other times it's fantastic. Another aspect this show nails is its musical elements. Each episode has a musical number towards the end, and I have yet to find an episode where they are lacking. Each episode tries tackling a different genre of music, heck, there's even an episode that covers elevator music, and every time they just nail the genre they're attempting. Can we With the music being such a key aspect of the show, it's great that they were able to pull it off so well. All in all, this is still a fantastic show, and it's such a shame it got treated so poorly by Cartoon Network, though I guess that's a common theme with the modern Cartoon Network. I definitely recommend this show, 
But for as much as I keep praising it, I would say jump into it with lowered expectations. As I mentioned before, the show's writing and comedy does miss a bit, so keep that in mind before you give it a go. Anyways, that does it for this review. If you enjoyed it and would like to support future content on this channel, then be sure to subscribe as every little bit helps. Thanks for watching.